to import the VM, you can go to the file, open, select the VM, open. It will be imported into VMware Workstation. Just type the name, directly VM, import. It will take some time to import. Just wait. Our VM is imported now. Now let us open the GNS3 and see if it is working. Go to the preference. Select the server. Enable the server and enable GNS3. Select the VMware workstation. VM will be automatically attached. You can change the processor from here. Trying to start the VM from GNS3. It's not starting, so we need to check what is the issue. Okay, in GNS3 VM, there is an issue with the VT X EPT. So, this is a processor error. In this case, if we get this kind of error, the two things we have to do. The first thing we need to enable virtualization from BIOS, internal virtualization technology, and then we have to disable the Hyper-V features from the Windows because both Hyper-V and, and VMware both together cannot work. So in this case, we have to disable Hyper-V. Go to the control panel, program and features, and turn Windows feature on now. And then uncheck this Hyper-V and click OK. After that, you have to restart your computer and then try to open GNS3 VM. Let me change some settings. Like, let me assign processor and increase the RAM. You can do this one from GNS3 also. Let us start and check the machine is opening or not now you can see the machine is started so that error has been gone this way you can troubleshoot the error now VMware is started and now we will check the GNS3 let's open just wait to connect to the VM type the project name I am typing the test project ok just wait for some time ok now you can see the GNS3 is working, GNS3 VM is uh, started and it is connected with the GNS3. Now you can import any of your device and you can start work. In next video I will show you how to download MicroTik image and install in, in GNS3 to work on MicroTik router. See you in next video.